what's your perfect programming setup? What computer, what operating system, what keyboard, what editor? Yeah, perfect is too strong a word. I'm, <laughs> it's way too strong a word. Um, what I use by default, I have a, uh, at this point, a 13-inch MacBook Air, which I use because it's kind of a reasonable balance of the various things I need. I can carry it around. It's got enough computing horsepower. Screen's big enough. The keyboard's okay. Um, and so I basically do most of my computing on that. Um, I have a big iMac in my office that I use from time to time as well, especially when I need a big screen, but otherwise it tends not to be used that much. Um, uh, editor. I what? use mostly Sam, which is an editor that Rob Pike wrote long ago uh, at Bell Labs. And, and did, did that, sorry to interrupt, does that precede VI? Does that uh, precede it posts, Emacs? It post dates both VI and Emacs. Um, it is derived from Rob's experience with ED and VI. Um, CD. That's the original Unix editor. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dated probably before you were born. <laughs> so uh, what's, uh, actually, what's the history of editors? Can you can you briefly, because it's such a fact, I use Emacs, I'm sorry to say, so, sorry to come out with that. But uh, <laughs> what's what's the kind of interplay there? So, Sam, so, and VI, it, so in and, ancient, ti ancient times, uh, like call it the first time sharing systems going back to yeah. what we were talking about, there were editors, there was an editor on CTSS that I don't even remember what it was called, it might have been edit, um, where you could type text, program text, and it would do something, or other document text. You could save the and text. And save it, you memory. could edit it, you know, the usual thing that you would get in an editor. Um, and Ken Thompson wrote an editor called QED, which mm -hmm. uh, was very, very powerful. But these were all totally a command-based. They were not mouse or cursor-based because it was before mice and even before cursors because they were running on terminals that printed on paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, no CRT-type displays, right. let alone LEDs. Um, and so then when Unix came along, Ken took QED and stripped it way, 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 way down. And that became an editor that he called ED. And it was very simple, but it was a line-oriented editor. And so you, you could load a file, and then you could talk about the lines one through the last line, and you could um, you know print ranges of lines, you could add text, you could delete text, you could change text, or you could do a substitute command that would change things within a line or within groups of lines. So you can work on a parts of a file, essentially. Yeah, you could work on any part of it, the whole thing or whatever, but it was entirely command line based and it was oh. entirely on paper okay right. paper and that meant that <laughs> you changed paper. The, yeah right real paper and so if you changed the line you had to print that line using up another line of paper to see what the change <laughs> caused okay yeah <laughs> so amazing. when when crt displays came along yeah then uh you could start to use cursor control and you could sort of move where you were on the screen in um uh, without reprinting every without time <laughs> re printing and one of there were a number of editors there the one that i was most familiar with and still use uh is vi which was done by bill joy and so uh that dates from probably the late 70s as a guess and uh it took a full advantage of the cursor controls i suspect that emacs was roughly at the same time but i don't know i've never internalized emacs so so i use at this point, I stopped using ED, although I still can. Um, I use VI sometimes, and I use SAM when I can. And SAM is available on most systems? It was. Um, it is available. You have to download it yourself from typically the Plan 9 operating system distribution. It's been maintained by uh, people there. Uh, and so well, I- I'll get home tonight. I'll try it. It's cool. Yeah. It sound, it's, uh, sounds, sounds fascinating. Yeah, although my love is with Lisp and Emacs, I've went into that hippie world of <laughs> I think it's a lot of things. What religion were you brought up with? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, most of the actual programming I do is C, C++, and Python, but my weird sort of, yeah, my religious upbringing is in Lisp. So 